<clears throat> Hello everyone, what's up? So now I'm going to be back again with yet another video and today I'll be doing a little taste test in review of the Athletic Brewing Company's Upside Dawn Golden Ale. This is a non-alcoholic beer that actually among all the drinks that Athletic Brewing Company has made um, seems to be one of their most popular ones. See a lot of people say that like this is their favorite, so it'll be interesting to see what I think of this one here. It's definitely like a lot, a little bit paler than than most of the other drinks by them that I've had. Kind of reminds me of the color from uh, the Athletic Light a little bit, but it, it, it almost looks a little bit hazier. So, or maybe it's that, but that maybe it's uh, either that or the fact that I've actually chilled it. <laughs> In my um, in my uh, fridge over there, so my mini fridge, anyways. Oh, mm. oh, this is interesting. This tastes a little bit more to me like the sparkling drink. Um, what's it called? Uh, uh, sparkling uh, water that I have. But I don't know. I do. I will say. This has like a bit of an aftertaste, and to me feels like a little bit um, odd. Now, looking at the ingredients here, it says that there's there's malt in this, which I don't think any of the other drinks by them that I've tried have had malt in it. So maybe that's what it is. I don't know. I, I think I'm. I would have to say that for this, I'm not particularly a fan just because of that aftertaste. Like it certainly isn't like terrible. Like again, it's not like overly bitter. I think it's, like, a little bit strange and just, like, not necessarily my speed. Like, it's certainly, like, drinkable. But it's, like, I don't know. I don't think that this is something that I would, like, call myself a fan of. Now, I mean, it's pretty popular. So, like, clearly a lot of people like it. So, I mean, it might just be for them. Um, <laughs> but I wouldn't necessarily... Uh, say that it's for me, but I mean, if you guys like it, like, feel free to give it a try. Or if you're known for liking, what is it that's in the ingredients here? Organic Vienna malt, <laughs> then give this a shot. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, I think the one thing I've learned from this is that I do not like organic Vienna malt. <laughs> oh my goodness. I mean, but it's not bad though. I'll, I'll still drink the rest of this. But um, yeah. I mean, that's pretty much all I have to say. Um, <laughs> I, yeah, this, I don't really have that much to say about it because, uh, I mean, beyond, like, the, 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 the malt flavor that I do get from this, it's not particularly flavorful. Um, it's just, like, very, like, light. That's what, kind of why I said it reminded me of sparkling water, specifically because sparkling water rarely has any flavor at all, even though it says it has flavor. Like, come on. Usually the only flavor is bitterness. Uh, <laughs> So similarly with this, there isn't really that much of a flavor except, you know, a little bit of, I guess, what it, I suppose is the malt. Which I'm not a fan of. I don't particularly like. I like the other stuff that they have, but I think is more like, um, leans heavily into, like, the hops area. That tastes a bit better. This, not particularly a fan of. But that's just my take. So, I mean, give this a try for yourself. Like, you, like, you yourself know, like, oh, the malt is, like, something I enjoy. Then you can make... You know, a decision based off of that. But this is just my take. But hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I'll see you guys later. If you want to watch one of my <laughs> other videos. <laughs> Alright, well, how do I close this thing?